Hi, welcome to my office. It's very messy and sometimes productive. One of the things going on here this day that I'm very excited about is the fourth Jane Stories anthology, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. First of all, you remember these, this colorful trio, Jane Stories 1, or Pink Jane, Purple Jane, Jane Stories 2, Jane Stories 3, or Yellow Jane. Well, we have a new one coming at you. It's color I'm not so sure of yet. It'll be a surprise to both of us. But what I do know is that it's going to be fabulous. Not only does it include uh, all the Jane Stories winners from our contest over the past several years, but we've asked for new work from writers that you've come to know over the years, and also um, from some writers that we've done book reviews with, um, others whom we have interviewed uh, on our talk radio show. So there are people whose work I have followed and loved for years, like Tamara Salmon uh, and Sandra Lambert, Yolanda Nieves, Nieves um, and so many others. There's also work from writers who are new to me, um, such as... Well, let's see, Jocelyn Johnson, fabulous short story called Coconuts about teenagers and the truly awful things they do to each other sometimes. Um, and so much more. Um, delightful poems like Lainey Kaltenecker's beautiful poem about the gift book of a blank book from a friend. Um, and so many other writers whose work really speaks to the theme of this anthology, which is very different from others. It follows um, a project, a special project that Jane Stories did um, over the past couple of years called Bridges and Borders. When the political discussion over immigration began to heat up a few years ago, we really thought that people hadn't heard enough uh, from the immigrants themselves. And so Shobha Sharma and Imeliza Hamilton Abigunde, uh, supported by Janes and with funding from the Illinois Humanities Council, took a group of immigrant women through a course on writing their own stories. And wow, every bit is fascinating and surprising, as you might expect, um, from women who come from all over the world and whose background may be very different than yours, but who have true women's hearts. Well, there's so much great work in this that I'm really looking forward to it. And I'd very much like to invite you to be a part of it. You can do that by joining Jane Story's Kickstarter campaign. The address for that is below this video in our email. Well, for anything that you give, you will get something back from Jane's stories, whether it's your name or the name of a close friend uh, printed in the book for as little, little as $5, or whether you would like to have a personally signed copy um, autographed by one of the editors, and I really hope you'll request mine, um, or a private session with one of our editors. But what you will certainly get back is work that really reveals women's lives because that is the purpose of Jane's stories. For more than 10 years now, we have brought work by both emerging and seasoned women writers to you. And this book is one I think you're going to want on your bedside table and you're going to want to share with friends. I certainly hope so, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at our readings. Thank you.